Hey guys, um, I'm here in my bedroom to do a 27 week update and give you guys an update on all of the genetic things that I talked about in my 22 week update. Um, I, I just want to apologize for taking forever to number one, give you an update on the genetics and then number two just to give an update I keep forgetting that I'm trying to document my pregnancy and not just like other things that are going on in life so I completely forget where I'm at um pregnancy wise I have to look before I even post anything on Facebook or Instagram but I'm here I'm gonna do my 27 week update I am 27 weeks and one day currently um if you go by the due date doctors gave me, if you go by my last period and what Google has told me, I'm 27 weeks and two days, I think. Um, but anyway, I will start off by saying that there was a lot of conversation between me and my husband and myself and just trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do. We had a lot of support from all of our family and friends in my 22 week update. I mentioned that when I came back from that ultrasound, the doctor had told me that they had found a nuchal fold, which is, I guess, like a long part on the back of the baby's neck, which is a marker for Down syndrome. And there were a couple other markers. I can't remember exactly where they were. I think one of them was like heart, and then there was like fluid around it or something, and then something with his brain. Um, I honestly can't remember because the number one concern when the doctor was talking to me was the nuchal fold or the Down syndrome part of the markers, nothing else. So we went back, well I went last, what was it? I went a couple days ago <laughs> and I just need to check the date. I think I went Friday. Um, so I went Friday for my... Um, like check up on him ultrasound wise since they did see that stuff so it had been four weeks and they told me that afterward they did not see any like everything looked great the baby was fine all of the pictures that they tried to get last time because he was not cooperative they were able to get this time they were able to get some of his face shots um the tech had me lay on my one side and was able to get a couple cute face shots which actual ultrasound pictures downstairs but I completely forgot to get them when I was grabbing my camera so I'll have to show you. So this is the 3D one that they got of him with his face and he has this is his little um, hand arm well his arm and then his hand over there. And for the longest time while she was trying to get the picture, he kept putting it in his face, which you can see right here in the non-3D. You can see that his hand's up there by his face. But those were the two best pictures. The rest of them were kind of the same, just in a different shot. Um, or like with more his hand in his face. So those are the two um, like best ultrasound pictures that she was able to get. So after we got those, I went and I talked to the doctor. He said that everything looked great. The baby was two pounds, five ounces as of Friday. That put him now in the 64th percentile when at 22 weeks he was at the 89th percentile. So I don't know <laughs> how accurate. The, the tech told me that the accuracy of the weight with the babies right now is about 90% once you get further along, obviously, because the baby's bigger and there's not a lot of room, it decreases in accuracy. But for the most part, <laughs> it is where he's at. So he looks great. They still obviously want to keep seeing me and checking on him and everything else. So I go back again in July and then August and then I don't know if I go back anymore before then so I'll go around 30 weeks and then I'll go again around 34 weeks so that was that with the ultrasound the only other thing that it, it's not super concerning because I know that he still has a little bit of time but because he didn't move position wise at all from 22 weeks to 27 he's still in breech position it's a little weird but we'll see where he's at um, come 30 weeks so the ultrasound showed 
they said that everything looked good. I'm assuming that it didn't show anything so they didn't talk about it. Um, I also, I think it was like June 4th I went and I went ahead and I got my genetic screening which is the Natera test. I got that done and I didn't get my results until June 16th. So my results came back with low risk for everything. And it showed that he was a boy, obviously, which was <laughs> good. Um, so that just means that he's low risk. So more than likely what they saw could have been the way that the baby was facing and whatever. He's low risk. The doctors didn't see anything at the ultrasound. And if they did, obviously they didn't say anything. So that is the update with how he's doing and with the genetic testing and blood work and all that stuff. So symptom wise, I'm not really, I don't have a whole bunch of symptoms. I also did find out that my cervix is thin, like extremely thin and it bleeds easily. It only had one little scare I think it was like Thursday on the 18th um, just once and then it went, went away so I didn't I got a little freaked out just because of the color but because because it didn't show up again I didn't really think anything of it um, so that was good um, I've only gained four pounds from all the weight that I dropped in the first trimester so when I first found out I was pregnant I was 240 pounds and since that with every appointment I've lost weight up until I hit I think it was like 22 weeks was when I was finally starting to like gain a little bit of my weight back so I've gained four pounds from uh, I think it was like eight pounds that I lost eight or nine pounds that I lost in the first trimester so <laughs> weight gain is perfect seems really good doctors are happy I'm happy I feel a little small um, compared to my last three pregnancies but I think that's just the way that he's sitting and the way that I had so much weight and then lost it and then I'm now just slowly getting it back it's also weird because I eat a ton of food um, so you would think I'm be back to where I was but not more tired and that's probably because I'm getting closer to the the third trimester I will be in the third trimester in 28 weeks on Sunday so I think my fatigue has finally hit like full force not to mention I've got three kids at home <laughs> that I'm dealing with so that probably has a little bit of effect but fatigue is pretty bad. Um, I've also come to the point in my pregnancy where I wake up multiple times at night to go to the bathroom. Um, so that's fun. Um, it's also kind of hard to figure out what side I want to sleep on. Uh, I used to always sleep on my left side and then the last couple weeks I've noticed some um, acid reflux. So I've been trying to fall asleep on my right side and if I turn, that's fine. Also notice that one of my favorite positions where I've fallen asleep or I've been sleeping and turned and just, I don't know, gave up or something while I've been in my sleep is laying on my back. And I know that you're not really supposed to do that. So when I actually, like when I wake up or when I realize that I'm on my back, I'll move. But I found my sleep, uh, I found myself sleeping on my back more often now than I had months ago. Um, cravings, the one big craving that I really, really have been wanting is like baby back ribs and some corn and macaroni salad, which because of COVID and everything else going on, it's hard to find certain meats and baby back ribs, especially with Father's Day and then 4th of July coming up has been extremely hard to find. So I haven't been able to find that, but I have had corn since I've wanted it and I have had my macaroni salad um, whenever I've craved it. I'm also back on the sour gummy worm kick, which in the first trimester, that was all I wanted to eat. I would have my husband Josh come home from work with about three bags from the little quick mart. I still have this weird, I don't know if it's like a food abrasion or what, but 
I can't eat chicken unless it's breaded or in a salad or like mixed with something. Like tonight I made chicken and rice with the chicken in a general so sauce. And surprisingly I was able to eat that. But if I would have just done like chicken and rice on the side or something and not mix it with anything, I probably wouldn't have been able to eat it. Which is so weird. And then again, I don't... I don't know if I would necessarily consider this a craving, but I am way more into Mexican food than I have been non-pregnant or with my other pregnancies. I've always loved Mexican food, but it's like I want it every single day <laughs> and it's bad. Um, I'm also out of breath more. Um, there are certain positions that I was able to sit in and now I can't sit in anymore because of the position that he's in or pressure or whatever's going on so that's kind of frustrating there's a lot of back pain I've had some Braxton Hicks here and there but nothing to like concern me at all I guess um I also had a name and I don't know if I just agreed because I wanted him to have a name so bad or what but yesterday I told my husband that I didn't really like the name anymore and I gave him a list I think it was like six or seven names that I really liked and put some middle names in there with it I think or maybe I didn't put middle names I don't know I can't remember um and I told him to pick from those and if we couldn't decide on one of those then I guess he wouldn't have a name until we actually saw him so he is unnamed again <laughs> so that's fun um other than that i don't think anything else has changed i go back to the regular ob um in about a week i take my glucose test later this week so i'll know next week if i passed or failed and have to take a three hour I'll be hitting the third trimester i kind of glazed over that other than that i don't think there's anything else to update on besides showing you guys my belly i think that's all <laughs> so i'll go ahead and show you my belly here's my belly hold on i'm trying to get there we go at 27 weeks he's poked out a little bit more so I don't know if he switched positions and maybe he's head down. But when I took my picture, my weekly picture the other day, the picture I took yesterday morning. And this is a day after and a full day of eating. So I think he might have moved positions. I think that is all um, symptom wise I updated you guys on the uh, genetic results and everything else so I'm gonna try to do another update around 30 weeks since that's when I have another ultrasound and I can update a little bit more with more accuracy on the baby so i will see you guys in three weeks three and a half weeks so we'll talk to you then bye guys